everyone, welcome to our Lower Wen training session. Um, in this session, we will tell, talk about the new advanced function in the application server. It's a payload engine. And how does it work? We will show you later. Uh, we received many questions about uh, how does your Lower Wen gateway to to uh, classify the data you receive from a sensor. Uh, can you help us to uh, decode the, the data we receive in your gateway? So there are many similar questions. Uh, actually, we have already provided no way. So if you are no, no way expert, then you can know how to uh, deal with the data. So you can write some software function to help you classify the data you receive from the lower wind sensor. But if you are not familiar with no way, now we create a new tool called payload engine so it will be feasible for you to decode the data payload as well on the payload engine function so we give you an example here in the application server there is a payload engine uh, tool so you need to write some script then you can see in your final data you can get the uh, real the readable data from your meter so maybe uh, the meter one with the data 234 and the meter two with 11 and the meter three with 434. So let's see how it works. So you uh, first thing is you go to the payload engine. Then you can see you can create many payload engine rules for different sensors. So the first one is an example. We use the BBWSW node as an example. The second one, we can create an occupancy sensor and also we can create a temperature sensor. So each panel engine will deal with the data that make the data become readable. So here is the example. Uh, the, the way, um, the function of the payload engine is, it will help you to trans tra uh, transfer the data to uh, transmit, to change the data to the readable data. So this is the raw data payload. And after the payload engine deals with the data, you can see the readable data here. So there are three steps to, uh, to complete the payload engine tool. The first thing is uh, you need to add an in engine. And each engine will have one name. The name need to match the app argument in your network server setting so it depends on the uh, app argument to help you to create the engine here then after you uh, add the engine then you complete the script then you can restart the application then you can receive the readable data so in this slide I will show you uh, the architecture of the scripts. The first one is you need to have the item app name. So app name is the app ax from your LoRaWAN sensor. And you will have the MQTT topic. This MQTT topic uh, is the topic you need to uh, subscribe after the payload engine uh, process the data. So you see the MQTT topic here is BBWSW-1. So you uh, subscribe to the topic with the device address, then you can receive the data. And in the content of the packet, uh, there are two items. The first one is the F port. The F port is the port your sensor uh, to send the data. So it depends on your sensor, then you can choose you can configure your port in this in, in this script. An, another one is the real value for your data payload. So you see that we divide our data payload into four parts. The first part uh, is the data I, I say is meaningless. So we want to ignore it. So we create an ignore content with the length. So we create an ignore part for our data payload. And the following part 
is the real value we want to receive. So we create three parts here. And depends on uh, the bytes uh, for each data. So uh, you see there are two bytes. So we choose the two bytes uh, we need to uh, we need to have the format in integer with 16. So we have the integer in 16 and we give it a name, give the meter a name. Then we can uh, do some uh, calculation for the for the data. So we can multiply. We, we use the 0 0.1. So you can see the final data is 23.4. So if we leave the multiply in one, or we didn't input input any multiply, then the data will be the uh, the same. It's 11 and then 434. So it's a new function for your reference.